Right. So, and just give some insight into the CSEC Mathematics SBA, the focusing on the introduction this morning. Now, keep in mind, I wrote a book on the CSEC Math SBA called the SBA Bank. And in this book, there are 20 samples of SBA. So you can always, you can get this book now as an ebook and very soon you can get it as a hard copy print book. So the, uh, the number to call, I will just see the number to call 7840619, 7840619. So um, in the table of contents in the book, I included sections explaining each section of the CSEC Maths SBN and then I included 20 different samples for you to work with so you can understand how to best um, write your SB. So the idea with this book is that you can take this book, study it, and in one night just do your SB. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to say a cheat book, but you get, you get the idea now. Now let's look at the introduction. We're just focusing on the introduction today. So your introduction is with four marks. This is the thing some people overlook. Four marks. Out of the 20 marks, one fifth of the mark in your SB come from introduction. If you consider that two marks is just look something, then it's um, four out of 18 marks in your SB comes out of the introduction. And, and these are the things your teacher will be looking for instantly. It is like a paragraph with clearly stated objectives, a paragraph or two. Comprehensive description of the project should be there. And your table of contents, the mark for your table of contents is also awarded in your introduction. So you should have a table of contents. Some people literally put introduction, then table of contents. That's okay. You can put the table of contents on a page before I find that looks better. That's okay. So if you do not include an adequate table of contents with page numbers, you will immediately lose one mark in your SBA. So stop sending me SBAs without table of contents. I advise you to use the automatic table of contents in Microsoft Word. It's very easy to use. Um, there's, there are videos on me on YouTube actually showing you how to do this. Also ensure after you finish your introduction, ask yourself these questions. Does your introduction answer these questions? why are you doing a project on this topic does your introduction answer that question these are good question to answer it kind of gives out some backdrop and a little bit of something we call the rationale what is the sb about does it clearly tell me quickly and concisely what the sba is about who is doing the sba is it a group sba are you saying me are you saying us are you saying the group are you saying what inspired the group to pick this sba that should be there and also um, what mathematical top topic does this SBA lean into? An excellent thing to include in your introduction. So, so commonly the student might say, I am going to use my knowledge and consumer arithmetic and uh, with focus on simple interests or focus on higher purchase to show, um, to arrive at my objectives in the SBA. What will you show or accomplish at the end of the SBA? And you need, this is one thing that you should say very clearly. I just advise students, if you want to make sure you don't make any mistake with this, just state the aim in my SBA or my objectives are to do this. So let me just show you a quick example. Let's just pick one, one by random. Um, two of these are just samples. Okay. La, um, using matrices to encrypt and decrypt text so this is a, one of the samples using matrices and it's very rare that you see a sb on matrices so i decided to include this one so some inventive student can mo um, model after this sb and come up with something like that so you see how the table of contents comes right after now once again you don't need to do all this fancy thing here your sb should just be clean nice and sb looking no no kind of aerial and um comic sans font and thing that you're sending me Times New Roman, Cambria Mat, we good. Something with serif, not sans serif font. So um, project title, introduction, method of data collection, blah, 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 blah. So you have, your, you have your table of contents well listed. Obviously, you wouldn't have this among the pages. This just this just happens to be the page number. It's on in the book. Um, your introduction. So let's take in this introduction and see if it answers the questions that we, that we have. By the way, I could have made this big a long time, eh? My gosh. My friend and I have a shared interest in computers, coding, and encryption. This is called cryptography. Right. Giving a little backdrop. 
that's good your introduction should have a little backdrop now some people think the sb is some kind of abstract thing it shouldn't be like that the sb should be related to something real it shouldn't be like you making up things or you making up a situation because when the sba goes up to cxe and it becomes moderated by someone other than your teacher problems in the camp problems in the camp because you decided to create to make a fictional situation and an abstract situation so my friend and i shared interest in computers coding and encryption this is called cryptograph cryptography the basic idea of that <laughs> that word cryptography cryptography is that information can be encoded using an encryption scheme and decoded by anyone who knows the scheme so some backdrop on the idea there are lots of encryption schemes ranging from quite simple to extra and extraordinary complex most of them are mathematical in nature we will use this sb as a chance to apply concepts and matrices to you answering that you're taking something from the csec math syllabus and putting it into application to come up with a simple but effective encryption that can be used on short messages so you're going to use matrices for encryption awesome i want to know more about this our main objectives are oh gosh you see this best so you collect your mark for this you collect your mark for talk more the um the background and description of what you're going to do uh you collect your mark for the table of contents the encoder will use a two by two matrix and the decoder will be the inverse of the matrix and you give a nice little heads up now you're not going to go into talking about too much about how you're going to get the data in your introduction that's for your method of data collection you're not going to thief stuff from your presentation of data and start to draw things and show the two by two matrix and thing here that's for other times so we just focus in an introduction in this um little short live session i'm doing here anyone have any questions anyone have any questions so let me just bring a wise why is you all coming up with questions if you have any questions let me know make sure you collect your four marks for your introduction it's very easy to collect the marks clear objectives complete comprehensive description of your, it very easy you just need to tick these boxes you, you can literally come and tick these boxes make sure your objectives stated clearly one two if you have one objective okay if you have two if you have three if you have four just remember the more objectives you make the more you need to answer it better in your analysis and your conclusion um the comprehensive description of the project that's two marks so you want to spend like a paragraph a paragraph and a half describing your project um and obviously a table of contents a well done table of contents so till we meet again love and blessings don't forget to press like feel free to share with your friends family enemies